kindergarten through second grade. This is Miss R and I'm introducing this week's project. You guys will be making found object portraits. So you need to find something round to start as your base and then you're gonna find materials in your house or outside to build different faces. Now I'd like to see two different options where you use two different groups of materials and then attach those photos and send them to me. If you only make one that's okay too but really try to get creative and make two. I bet you guys can do it. So I, in just a short bit, you're gonna see a video with the first example that I did from things I found outside. And the video is a little hard to see because I had to make it and hold the camera at the same time. And then the second one you're gonna see is inside from objects I find in the house, maybe using like a paper plate or a regular plate as the face and then putting objects on top of that. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. You always do such a great job. Sorry about the neighbor's chickens. <laughs> they like to be take apart in things that are going on in the yard. I'll see you guys soon and have a great time. Kindergarten through first grade, this is your project for this week. You're gonna create a portrait. Now I was outside in my backyard and I started grabbing some just random materials that were laying around and I made this one. I'm gonna go back in my house and I'm gonna show you another example where we're actually gonna start with something round for a face. So you can use a plate, a frisbee, anything you have lying around the house that's a circle but this is one option for outside. The other option is to use something like an old, an old planter. So I have one right here. Sorry about the chickens in the background. Those are my neighbor's chickens. Let's grab some of the kind of a, I could kind of put some hair up here. Sorry guys, sorry about the video. I'm trying to hold it and create at the same time. So there's another option, but because these are so dark, sorry, these are so dark, it's hard to see them. So you might want to really think about the colors that you have and make sure that they contrast enough. So that's why I did the first one on the yellow container so that you could see a little bit of the difference. So I'm going to keep searching for objects and another video will pop up in just a second. Guys, here's my last example of my portrait. You can see I used a scarf for the hair and a couple of jars for the eyes, a little plastic cup for the nose and then a necklace for the mouth. You guys can use anything you want. You could use uh, Legos for teeth. You could use a t-shirt for hair. You could use, I don't know, a comb at the top if you wanted to look like a mohawk. Anything you choose. This time I did use like a round um, platter kind of thing to make the shape of the face. But if you don't have something like that, you can always use like a t-shirt that you kind of make look like a circle. Um, a piece of cardboard, whatever you have lying around is optional. So again, try for two different portraits. Maybe you make one with one set of materials that looks like a girl and maybe one that looks like a boy, or you could do two just random portraits. Get creative. Um, if you have, you know, you could always use food. I could have used like two clementines for eyes if I wanted to. Um, but get creative. Have some fun. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Have a great week. Another short week this week. Bye guys.